Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new cooler from Argon for the Raspberry Pi 5. This is their all new Argon Thermal 60RC and it does come in two different colors. And of course, we've seen a lot of different coolers for the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi 5. The official Raspberry Pi Foundation cooler actually does a really good job and we're going to kind of face it off against that and a couple more that I've tested over the last few months. But when it comes to tower coolers for the Raspberry Pi 5, this is one of the best that I've seen so far. They do offer this in two different color variants. So you can go with black or silver. We're going to be running the black one on my Pi 5 today. And the price on this is 20 bucks. So if you head over to their website, you can see that Argon 40 has released a ton of new products for the Raspberry Pi 5. One of my favorites that I recently reviewed is the Argon 1 V3 NVMe case for the Raspberry Pi 5. But today we're going to be taking a look at their thermal 60 millimeter radiator cooler. Coming in at 20 bucks, you can opt for two different color variants. Maximum airflow on the fan that they include is 18.13 CFMs. Uh, maximum fan speed, 5,000 RPM. And I'm pretty sure with all the aluminum we have here and those dual copper heat pipes, we're not going to need to ramp that fan up. In fact, I think I'm going to test it with and without the fan. So with this cooler, they do include some thermal pads and thermal paste. Now, uh, they do want you to use the thermal paste on the CPU. And taking a look at the unit, we've got a 60 millimeter fan. This thing is beefy. Dual copper heat pipes here. And I mean, there's more than enough metal to cool the Raspberry Pi 5 CPU. And through my testing, we'll also be overclocked to 3 gigahertz on the CPU and 1 gigahertz on the GPU. Black version, basically same thing here, but we've got that black design. Fan plugs directly into the fan header for the Raspberry Pi 5. You can just leave it with the stock Raspberry Pi software. The fan will come on when it's needed, or you could use the Argon software and set different trip points. It's really up to you. Installation definitely looks really easy. We're going to be using some of the included thermal paste on the CPU itself, but we also have another section on the Pi 5 that gets quite hot, the PMIC chip. So we're going to use the thermal pad right there, and uh, the whole cooler will make contact with that PMIC chip, kind of pulling the heat out of there for us. So I've placed the thermal pad on the PMIC chip. Now it's just time for a little dab of this thermal paste that's included. You don't need a lot. I'm just going to use a tiny little dab. So a little dab will do you here. And now it's time to install the cooler, which is very, very simple to do. This uses a spring-loaded system, just like a real CPU cooler for your uh, PC. Most of them out there do use this kind of system. And when it comes to these tower coolers, this is the first time I'm personally seeing it. So basically, these springs are going to allow us to keep pressure on that CPU cooler, so it always makes contact with that CPU. Just two screws here in the stock heatsink location on the Raspberry Pi 5. Don't need to torque this thing down too much, just make sure it's nice and snug. Now that we have the cooler in place, it's time to plug the fan header into the fan header on the Raspberry Pi 5. And through my thermal testing with the Pi 5 in this cooler, I will test it with it plugged in, and then I'm going to disable it completely. I know a lot of people out there want a silent system, and I'm pretty sure that we'll be fine even overclocked with this cooler and no airflow over it. But yeah, it's definitely massive overkill for the Raspberry Pi 5, but I really do like the look of it. Definitely high quality, and most of the stuff that Argon has released in the last few years has been top-notch when it comes to accessories for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, jumping right into Raspberry Pi OS, I'm just going to run a 10-minute stress test on this, and as you can see, this is overclocked at 3 gigahertz. Right there, it gives us the megahertz of the CPU right now every time it runs through this test. At the stock clocks, you're going to be totally fine with this. I really wanted to kind of stress it out. That's as high as I can overclock this one. I've seen some Pies able to go to 3.2, so you might get lucky, be able to get a little more out of it. And right now, I've got the fan unplugged. We're going to run it with the fan unplugged. Then what I want to do is just set a nice little threshold. We're going to turn it up to 40% and run it, but I'm also going to kind of face it off against some others that I've tested in the last few months. Okay, so I finished the testing with the fan completely disabled, but now what I've done is set it just to a static 40%. We're going to let this run, and as you can see already, it's staying really low. Remember, we jumped up quite a bit with the other test, but since we've got some air flowing over this, I don't think it's going to get hot at all. 
Okay, so I finished up my testing. Obviously, Raspberry Pi 5. We are overclocked to 3 gigahertz on the CPU, 1000 megahertz on the GPU, but we're really just stressing out that CPU with this 10 minute test. Room temp, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The Raspberry Pi Foundation Active Cooler, at the end of this test, 68 degrees Celsius. So it's not gonna hit thermal throttle even overclocked. The new Argon Neo 5 aluminum case with built-in cooler looks a little something like this. Did a review on it a little while ago. We hit 67 degrees Celsius through this same test. Next up, we've got the Argon Thermal 60 with no fan enabled whatsoever. We only hit 59 degrees Celsius after 10 minutes. And with the fan set to a static 40%, 42 degrees Celsius. This thing at 100%, I don't think we're gonna go over 40 degrees Celsius, even at three gigahertz. And yeah, I mean, I had a feeling that this was gonna cool the Pi 5 CPU just fine, even with this overclock. It is overkill, makes the Raspberry Pi a lot bigger, but personally, I love the way these tower coolers look on this small single board computer. I've always liked them. Uh, we've seen a bunch of them for the Raspberry Pi 4. This one definitely takes the cake given that we've got a really beefy cooler system here with a 60 millimeter fan. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you're interested in learning a little more about the Argon Thermal 60 millimeter radiator cooler for the Raspberry Pi 5, I'll leave some links in the description. Remember, you can pick it up in black or silver coming in at $20. I'm not sure if this is gonna be listed on Amazon. If it is, I'll try to find some links and put them down below. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Like always, thanks for watching.